And a three-year-old girl is returning to school this morning. She was shot three months ago while just sitting in the back seat of a car. Joanna Solis was on her way to daycare when two bullets hit her car. CBS 2's V Win is live at Chicago Heights with a story you'll see only on two. V. Ryan and Andrina, that three year old girl has been through so much. She is now blind. This morning, staff here at this daycare are getting things ready for her big return to the classroom. Three year old Joanna Solis is a survivor. For the first time, her mother is giving us these pictures from her hospital bed where Jojo, as she's called, spent more than a month recovering. Jojo was shot in the face while the bullet did not enter her brain. It caused her to go blind. Very devastating because you always hear about things happening everywhere else. And but when it hits close to home, it's a very different feeling. Shirley Jackson is a preschool teacher at CMT Teach Me How Academy in Chicago Heights. Where we're going to do the best that we can, you know, with her wherever. Uh, Joanna needs, you know, we'll be there to help support her. This morning, Jojo's mom will bring her back to her beloved school and daycare where she's been attending since she was eight months old. We were there as they prepared to welcome her back. We're just uh, waiting for her to come back. We're going to welcome her in with open arms. No problem. I'm sure all the children, you know, because they've been asking about her, you know, when it first happened, and I'm sure they're waiting to see her back too. Jojo's classroom still has her tub of supplies ready and even her art saved. Cheryl Anderson, who runs the school, says she'll be seated in this big princess chair and showered with love. Hopefully she'll be up for all of the energy that the other kids have and they don't just uh, overwhelm her with the hugs and, and the well wishes. But we're so excited that she's here today. Now, the school is looking for a teacher who specializes with the vision impaired. Until then, everyone here says that they're just going to do their best to help JoJo as much as they can. As for the shooting, police say no one has been arrested. Reporting live from Chicago Heights, V1 CBS 2 News.